Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to try and fix the constant problem of synchronization issues with Android devices and Fitbit. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in my previous video, I commented on the problems with Android devices, with Fitbit devices, and the way that the software works, or in a lot of cases doesn't work, and it led me to think there's got to be a better way of sorting out this solution. So, after a little bit of research and looking around on the internet, I found up uh, a great solution which works great for me. Uh, it may not work great for you, but it's definitely something worth trying and can potentially save you a lot of headaches with your Fitbit device. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to need your mobile phone or device that you've got connected to your Fitbit. And I'm going to record this on the screen so you can see it quite nicely on the side. Um, if you've got any questions or comments after the video, feel free to put them in the comment section below and I'll try and help you out as best I can. Now, this particular uh, guide is designed for Android devices running Android Oreo or version 8. Your Android device may look slightly different, but if you look for the same settings in the menus, then you should find it okay. Again, if you get problems finding it, let me know in the comments and I'll guide you in the right direction if I can. So the first thing you need to do is go into your settings. And in the main settings section, go to apps and notifications. Now, if you go into apps and then scroll down until you find your Fitbit app. Once you find your Fitbit app, you can click on it. And then if you go to permissions and just make sure that all the sliders are in the on position for camera, contacts, phone, SMS, storage, and your location. So that will ensure that any notifications that come to your phone for calls or text messages will come through to your device. So once you've confirmed you've got those settings right, then you can go back to the notifications management and then scroll down to Fitbit again. And make sure that the slider that says allow notifications is slid across. So that's two of the three steps completed. Now the last one is an odd one, which I wouldn't have thought of myself, but luckily someone pointed out to me. Now, if you go into battery and then go to launch, and if you look through your applications, Fitbit should be towards the top, or if it's an old vertical order, just scroll through until you find it. Now, you want to change it so that the Android operating system doesn't have control of how the Fitbit app actually uses the battery. So if I switch it to manage automatically, that's what the setting you would normally have. So we want to change that. So change the slider and you should get a pop-up which looks something like you can see it on the screen, whichever slider is on. Now manage manually. So you've got the choice for auto launch, secondary launch and run in background. Now you want all three of these set on. Now for some reason, when it's set to automatic, these aren't always set on. So the Fitbit app can't actually be running in the background to actually send notifications to your watch or also for your tracker to send information back to the app, such as your sleep, your heart rate, all those kinds of things. So make sure that auto launch, secondary launch, running background are all in the on position, then hit OK. And that is pretty much it. All you need to do now is to restart your Fitbit or just wait for it to refresh itself. Ideally, shut off your phone, do a restart, and then everything should work as per normal. So hopefully this guide has been useful for you. If it has, give me a like. If it hasn't, give me a dislike, but let me know again in the comments what else you need me to tell you how to do, and I'll try and help you out as best I can. So I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and this has been how to hopefully sort out sync issues with the Fitbit device and your Android phone. Thanks for watching.